Look at this dude. You can press Y then X to go to the round table fast. Who is this absolute creature in my chat? Let me just get right on that. Don't give up. The Donkey Kong Bongos, one of the most unassuming controllers ever made. It was made for the rhythm game Donkey Konger, but at the end of the day, it is still a legitimate controller that you can do stuff with. I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't know what I did, but I somehow got it to work. And from that, I started to map bongo presses to keystrokes. First, it looks like you've got three buttons. However, you can hit the top and the bottom of the bongos for two different buttons. So actually, you've got five buttons, and then you get two of them, and all of a sudden, you've got ten buttons. Just enough buttons for an Elden Ring playthrough. Space! Baby. I'll put a smiley face on that as well. Job's a fucking good one. What a name. What a name. But wait, ding dong, what's this? This video is sponsored by DFO. And what does DFO mean? Great question, stands for the best game ever. Dungeon Fighter Online is a super unique MMO, been around forever with over 700 million registered players. The newest update adds this guy, the Blitz class, and he is too ugly for me. Get him out of here. I want to play as the Goblin. There are a bunch of events for new and returning players, like the Newbies Welcome event, which helps you get straight into raid content and a big old stinky level boost getting you to max level asap so you can get the good stuff right away you can be playing this on steam or just through the website and you can even watch people play it on twitch and get in-game items from that but don't do that because those twitch items are mine i'm not sharing them get out of here instead you can sign up with my link below and thank very much to dfo for sponsoring this video This is it, boys. A lot of people are wondering what you're going to do, what's the build, what's this. I don't give a fuck. I have to make it up, man. I have no plans. This is just going to be completely improv. We are completely bongo only. And as you can see, I've got all the buttons I need. Up. Fucking down. No. Down. No. That's okay. Oh, this is okay. This is, this is going to take some getting used to. Okay, calm, mate, calm down. Oh. It was going to take a long, long time to perfect and master the DK bongos. So, my chat recommended that I do the tutorial. Fuck, people actually want me to do it. How else can you become Elden Lord? Pampered gamer, can't best. Soldier of God. Fuck, right, okay, I'm going. Attack, RB. Bam! Get off of my page! Because all you're gonna see here is Roblox. Goodbye! I can't guard. I also have no button presses to press close. So that's it guys, Bongo Run actually impossible, runs dead. Thanks for coming down guys, I really appreciate all the effort. Oh, let's get some maidens on that yee yee ass. Where is she? Come on, come on, where is she? Oh, hello love. Now, this is obviously a big thing. Am I gonna be using these? On one hand, I'm like, yeah, we should use them. On the other hand, I don't think the Lone Wolf Ashes, they're not using bongos. This is a bongo only. If the, if the spirits use bongos, get them on. But if they don't, get, get, get them out. No. Right here. Right here, boys, this is it. And some of the people are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you going here? So level one wretch. You're going here a bit early. To that I say, can you tell us a story? You know what? Now we're doing absolutely fuck all on here, we may as well. Uh, I remember when I was like 12, right? I got my first like console, got a GameCube when I was 12, right? Up all night playing Mario Sunshine on a fucking school night, right? On a school night, no less. And what happened? My mum and dad came upstairs like, right lad, time for bed. I'm like, no, I'm playing Mario Sunshine. And what they did, like, no, come on now. And they unplugged the GameCube, took the GameCube off us. I remember sat in my room, fucking seething I was. I was fucking seething, I was like proper. Molding, I was proper molding, right? And I got up, I got out of my room, and I walked downstairs. I picked it up, and I turned to my dad and said, I'm gonna play Mario Sunshine, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> and I just took it. But then I heard my dad saying to my mum, he went, Mark my words, that kid's gonna be fucking trouble. What are we doing down here? I'll tell you what we're doing down here, Adios. Step two. Hello, guys. It's me, Petito Quack Quack, in Nintendo DS. Quack 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 Watch this one. Bosh, Bosh, jump off the arse, come up to this torch here, let this guy kill you. Step three. You might be like, whoa, this is getting fucked. Use wait. When it fades black, when it fades black, 
Oh, F4. Oh, F4. Look at my script. The script for the video is called Lenny One Life. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, get out of here. Hey, get out. Watch this. We have skipped all the way up to Mimic Tier. And this was such a fantastic start for us. It's 10k runes right in the back pocket. And even with this, we're not done quite yet. We can still kill the undead dragon for a further 50k souls. This is the part where it gets a bit boring. All we're going to do is run around for like, what, 10 minutes, kill something 10 minutes. So guys, ask me questions. Turn this into a Lenny Q&A. Do I have cock cam bang? <laughs> okay. On my old DK Bongo video, I had a camera just point at the bongos, which were kind of near my crotch. Hey, Lenny, editing the video. Put 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 the footage in. So there we go. After the video, everyone watching kindly refer to that as the cock cam. Guys, I'm sorry, cock cam is not returning. I'm sorry, boys. Rip cock cam. God, justice for cock cam. Fuck's sake, we're not doing cock cam. You know all these series out there on YouTube that like, can you beat Elden Ring but using like fucking miracles only? What if I just titled this video, Can You Beat Elden Ring With Cock Cam Only? At this point, it was pretty straightforward. We got the bleed kill on the dragon, but we also went round for the Knight Rider. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna de-aggro the boss. And now, it's GG. Look, I've got to be honest, I've got like 40 vigor, Bloodhound Step. If the game recognizes that you've got 40 health on Bloodhound Step, it should just fade to black and say, oh, I'll save us both some fucking time. And it just rolls credits. And I'm really sorry, I know it's boring, but what happens if we just do this? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. You know what I mean? It was time for our first boss, but we were pretty overleveled for it. So instead, we had the fantastic idea of using the bongos in sync with music. That is not a bad idea. Should we play a s Okay, how about this? How about this? How about we play a song? And I drum along to it, but drum the inputs I want to do. This was way harder than it looked. Took me about seven tries. The rest of Stormvale was pretty easy, nothing to show. And Godric, well, got a face that slapped ass. No problems there. Bongo, bongo, bongo! Why? I am the Lord of all that is Kokka! And that's day one. It was a lot of setup, a lot of fucking around. Got the health bar, we've got the weapon. And it was time to do some proper content. Look, look listen, I'm sick of you all coming here to this stream late at night, stinking of booze. Stinking of cigarette smoke. What fucking time to call this? Have you been out shagging other lasses? Fucking dickhead. Do one. Day two. We're back for day two here. And do you know what? I'm looking at this, man, and I'm hit by instant bad vibes. And have you seen the state of that? This, this is what we're going to do. We've got to fix these bad vibes right away. Because I think a lot of people wanted me to use the pizza wheel for the weapon. So we'll try that. Fuck it. This looks like normal gameplay. You'll think I'm playing on a normal fucking controller. Look at this. The dragon doesn't know what to fucking do. Three, two, one. Say it now. I'm going to fucking ban you. Oh, fucking hell, that's a lot of people. Jeez, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I had no idea there's so many people here. After this, we used Raya to go to Volcano Manor and get our pizza cutter weapon super early. Watch this, watch this. Watch this bongo action. Boom, 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 boom. I'm unbelievable. Look at that fucking health bar. I've got a plus four Grazzi wheel. Pretty princess, I'm set. That could be the final build. So what I'm saying right now is that we do prime content. I think we go Radan right now. I think it's Radan time, personally. Fucking love Kaelid. <laughs> Physically love it. Oh, hello love. Look at her, like breathing out, bleeding to death. At least you can have a look at this love. That's gonna put a smile on your fucking face. Look, there's two people in this world. There's content doers and content daunters. I'm a fucking content doer. Let's just fucking get into it. Let's calm down. Okay. One, two, wait for it, three, wait for it, four. One, two, just one, actually, just... I wanna do two attacks there, but the weapon's so fucking slow. That weapon is so slow, my guy. Okay, one, two, wait for it, three, wait for it, four. I'm gonna get one punish from that. I missed it, great. Can we get a bleed? I believe it would change everything. Nah. Could I iframe the meteor? I'm playing on Donkey Kong Bongos. You absolute creature. What do you physically mean? No. I just, oh man. I hate blaming this weapon for everything, but 
What a mess. What a mess this weapon is. Oh, man. We were stuck here for a good hour or so, and I kept blaming the weapon, and no one believed me. So, I switched back to a plus three cross Nagata, and this happened first try. It's it, isn't it, boys? <laughs> Boom! Go on, try it. Whoa! Bongo time! And a boom, boom, boom. Bollocks! Ah! Hold that fucking hell for you! Radan was our first huge challenge and we finally got it down after around about an hour and a half of trying. We started day three and our main plan today was to get a new and permanent weapon for the build. Could try a dragon scale katana. No, and I know I'm gonna get comments. I know I'm gonna get comments saying, oh my God, you use a bleed frost build? I'm using DK bongos, give me a fucking break. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. So Elder Ring DLC comes out, right? It, it, I don't know, like a year from now, right? And you're exploring this massive, this really cool new like, area. It's fucking crazy, right? Awesome bosses, awesome new weapons, awesome like lore. And all of a sudden, bam, Melina comes back. Bit of a spoiler if you've not beat the game, fuck you. And she starts telling you all this massive lore excerpt about the Erd Tree, about everything, you know, about the, the two fingers, about the, the greater will. But then, just before her dialogue ends, she goes, Ashen, no, she, she doesn't say Ashen one, that's Dark Souls 3. She said, she says, Tarnished one. I don't understand one thing. I'm like, oh shit. What's, what don't you understand? She goes, Tarnished. Why have you not bought the Elden Ring Battle Pass yet? Boom, appears on screen at the bottom. Buy Elden Ring Battle Pass, 500 Elden Books. Do you buy it? For a nice change, when we got to Ronala, we were actually overleveled for once, so it was no problem. People keep asking me, what ending am I gonna do? What ending? What ending? Like, fuck, man. I can't be fucking arsed with Dark I can't be arsed with Dark Souls quests. Go here, go here, but not before this NPC. Talk to this NPC, but after beating this boss, go to this location. Fuck here now. I can't be fucked. Tell me what the ending is. I'm gonna edit it so he sits on a big sofa and he plays FIFA. That's the ending. You think I'm joking? Skip to the end of the video. I put it in. Oh, fuck. I know it's a grace. Let me fucking sit here then, dickhead. I know it's a fucking grace. Let me erase this absolute fucking wet wipe. Oh my god. This dog does hella chunk of damage. We were still looking for a new weapon, and we did come across this weapon right here. However, I wasn't gonna use it. It's too OP. But for one boss, it'd be a good laugh. And this is my controversial weapon of choice: the ant spur rapier. Now now now. It's pretty OP, because it directly complements the bongos, and I'll show you why. This is a Scarlet Rock weapon, which does damage over time to the enemies. Now, I'm a bit of a fucking idiot, I forgot that the bongos block the damage here, but trust me, it's really good. It does about 100 damage a second, just from the poison alone. Like, okay, that's not too bad. How long does it last? Two minutes. It lasts two minutes. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be using this weapon. It's a bit OP for the bongos. But there is an upcoming weapon, which is also a musical instrument like the bongo. So it's pretty perfect. I'm a bit of a sit down here. I'm a bit of a fucking chill out. Oh, hello, love. You can press Y then X to go to the round table fast. <laughs> Who is this absolute creature in my chat? Press Y and X. What the fuck do you think this is? Who is this creature? Press Y the next! Let me just get right on that! Okay, boy -o. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The weapon of choice for the build was the Longhorn Trumpet. Bonus points for it being a musical instrument like the bongos, but also it does absurd damage. Just gotta test the weapon out now and see what we're dealing with. The thing is now, boys, as well, what's a very nice thing? I'm, I'm fairly certain this weapon's going to take us all the way to the end game. That's it, boys. It's just content now. Just fucking content now. There's no fucking about getting tight tonight. No getting items here. Or piss off, you absolute wet wipe. Piss off, you wet wipe! Ding dong, baby! I hope we've been showing you your pussy tonight, tonight baby! baby. <laughs> okay. This is a, it's a bit OP, it's a bit of a joke, but the thing is it suits the bongos. Wait for it, wait for it. 
Hello, love. Thinking about it, boys and girls, we're not too far off the end. Fire giant. Mal oh, God's skin duo. Oh, bollocks, I forgot. Thank you, baby. Speaking of good shit you've done, I met a girl in my dreams because of one of your videos, no joke. Mate, are you joke? Wait, wait, you telling me there's a girl out there? What you know? Who likes my videos, mate? Mate, just hand her over. <laughs> <laughs> Lady swipe right, I have got cat. That's okay. I'm gonna make a Tinder profile right now. I'm making a Tinder profile right now. Why? I'm gonna Google why Rivers of Blood is bad for drops and doing all the boring yeah. nerd shit so you guys don't have to. And first off, I would appreciate it if you drop the fat fucking like and hit that <laughs> subscribe button. I'm dropping a like. I'm dropping a like. I don't give a fuck. I just like the video. Next up was Fire Giant and because of the sheer size of it, the trumpet special attack was really powerful. However, this would be the turning point of the run. And this shift in tone would start with perhaps the hardest thing for me to do. Hello, love. I love. Thank you <laughs> for guiding me here. The oh, sus Chandler's oh, imposter. Day four. And, and you know what? The, the past few days have been pretty good, but now it's just pure content. You know what I mean? I'm not fucking about getting tight night. Don't care. I still call it tight night. I've got the weapon. I've got the build. Let's just fucking game, boys. Let's just fucking game. I don't. I don't, don't want to go in. Do you want to go back and kill fucking Rune Bear? Let's just do some Sojo Godric content. Let's let, let's just no. Come on, okay, let's go. There's one thing that can make this bearable. I pray to God. Oh Christ! Okay, let's let's go for the finish. Let's get, let's get the finish. Bosh! Where's your one? Where's your one? Where's your one? Where's your one? Dickhead! Dickhead! Ice cream! Ice cream! Oh, I'm fucking buzzing! Oh, the chat's fuck. The chat is fucking buzzing and all. I tell you, ice cream story. So usually, uh, when the ice cream lady comes by, usually I, I, I proper I sprint out, proper sprint out, because I want, I want to try and beat the kids. <laughs> I mean, beat the kids to the front of the ice cream. <laughs> Swear down. I'm gonna first time it now. I'm gonna first time it. I've been absolutely fucking red pilled by the ice cream lady. Come on, Beep boo. He could go down for a post. There it is. Let's wait for him to summon. And now we go in for the one-on-one. -on -one. No. Now, okay, well, I waited there for the one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, let's wait for him to summon. He, he's got to summon soon. He's got to summon. And when he does, Bibu. Bibu for the summon. Bibu! 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 No, no! Yes! Come on! Woo! And after this, I genuinely thought that would be the hardest one. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, was I wrong? Next up was Malaketh, and this one would really push the limits of the bongo. Bibu. Okay, it's gonna be very hard to Bibu here. He's got, he's got Bibu resistance. Look at this, scruffy fucking goth having a go of this. Bosh. Don't impress me, mate. I think it's fucking weird. Have it. Well, I'm dead. How much have I got? Six? Dodge there and dodge again. Wow, good dodge. Right, I need to back up, back up, back up, back up. And running attack, one, two. Oh no, oh man. One, two, oh shit, oh shit, I can't. Yeah, man. Man, this is really hard. Nice, that was good, that was big. Send it phase two, phase two, phase two. Come on. Do this. Oh! Get fucked. Oh! One, two. Clutch that was. 
getting the fucking frost spear mid-air for the report. Instant frostbite and fucking everything. It was massive. Look, I'm gonna be honest, who's not dropping a fat fucking like after that? Beep boo. Beep boo. <laughs> Beep boo. <laughs> Beep boo. Using the trumpet was a lot of fun, but now we can no longer use it. The bosses now have so much aggression, so much damage, it does not give us a chance to use those attacks anymore. Playtime's over, boys. It's serious time now. It's getting real tough. What's this guy's name? It's never mentioned, right? I think it's Jeff. Oh, yeah, it's fucking Clive, isn't it? My name's Clive, but in Chieftain. Wait, I need to heal. Can I heal first? Can I, can I lock on? Oh, shit. The camera in this game. No, 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 I can't be boo here. He's gonna grab me. He's gonna get, he's gonna get me the big grab. I'm dead. I'm, I'm so dead. I can't get a single heal here, man. I can't get a single heal. It's so harsh. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, you're hard showing off. The problems with the bongos now are really starting to take hold because in this late game, if you make one mistake, and like just one mistake, that's half your health bar. But in the bongos, I'm so much more likely to make more mistakes. That's the thing. We're in actual dire circumstances right now. It's bad. Ice cream lady, she's fucked off. She's not coming back. So I've had to respec back to cross Nagata. Now it's, it is quite interesting because really in the grand scheme of things, I think Bibu is more powerful than cross Nagata Frost. But for this controller, Probably not. One thing I've really learned about the bongos, you just make more mistakes, just in general, you know? Like you, you, you do a late roll, you mo you're moving correctly, you know what I mean? So a lot of small mistakes, which happen more frequently because of the bongos. Even though I think Bibu is a more damaging, like, kind of build, I still think the way to go is this cross Nagata, because a slow weapon is just gonna, like, amplify those mistakes. It's GG, and this is fucking embarrassing, Horaloo. Horaloo, this is embarrassing! That's embarrassing, my guy! That's Fucking embarrassing! Horaloo dot lost. <laughs> I just saw Horaloo lost dot JPEG. Lenny editing the video. Put put that comic on screen, but make it with Horaloo. <laughs> Great. It was final boss time, but I know what you've all come down to see. You've not come here to see this wet wipe. You've come here for Melania, and this would be our final DK Bongo fight, and by far the hardest boss on any challenge run I've ever done. I remember on my first time playing this on release, you know, and I got to this. I remember stood in this hallway and I realized, shit, I have to do this with Donkey Kong Bongos one day. <laughs> Cross fighty. Oh no, oh, that's a lot of, I forgot how much damage you do. That's a fucking lot, isn't it, boys? Shit, she got me there. Wait, what's this boss's name? I don't think she ever mentions it. One, two, three, one, and in. Nah, that should have got me, that should have got me. Just one piece of stamina. Oh shit, I'm getting fucked. Yeah. This is what I'm on about. Look at that. One mistake, one bad roll there, and it's just... You're out. And a four, boys! That's the down. Sip, sip up, and fucking welcome to hell, boys. Oh, man, that's so unlucky. That's so unlucky. But that's exactly what I'm saying, man. Just like that, that one mistake. It's just... And the bongos. It's, just, it's so much more likely for mistakes to happen. I want to heal. I want to heal, but she's not going to let me, is she? Oh, you actual donkey! I'm done. I'm done. That was a really good one, too. It's mine for the winning. It's mine for the winning. Come on. It's mine for the winning. It's mine for the taking. Come on. It's mine to lose. It's mine to lose right now. It's mine to lose. It's mine to lose. It's mine to lose. Come on. One, two, three. One. No. Okay, sure, why not? Oh! We did a thing! We did the thing! We did it! A frostbite wins it, a frostbite wins it, a frostbite wins it. Frostbite wins it, frostbite wins it. Oh, my, my heart's in my throat, holy shit. That might be it. One of these? No.
my match. She's met a match, boys and girls. Right on Tinder. I'm just gonna swipe right on that brush. There we go. I haven't got the words. I have not got the words. I've not got the words. Oh, cop cam! It's the finale! We got cop cam! We got cop cam! Cop cam ending! Yeah! The sus, chandless imposter. Man!